Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Yarpedia Education. So today in this video, I'm going to interact with Mr. Madhav Rabin, who recently got selected in Bark Baba Atomic Research Center as a scientist. So this video is going to be quite informative and handful and a source of motivation for those students who are hustling and preparing competitive exam and their aspiration is to become a part of prestigious research organization like ISRO, BARC and DRDO. So first of all, Madhav, congratulations for your selection. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, so could you please start by introducing yourself so that student can relate more with you? Uh, I am B. Madhav Rabin. I completed uh, my B.Tech in IIT Bombay in uh, this year only, 2023. So uh, I gave my uh, bar exam uh, this year, and I got selected uh, for the uh, post scientific officer C this year itself in the first attempt itself. So um, like uh, my decision to attempt the bar exam was uh, like uh, more spontaneous one. Like I saw the advertisement on January 27, 28 during that time. Then I read the brochure completely and decided on the spot that I will give the bar exam. So I didn't. They are usually people decide it uh, one, two years in advance, but I decided spontaneously and it, went, it got all over uh, in three, four months. Okay, so, so your, background, your background is electrical engineering, right? Yes, electrical engineering. And you have done your graduation from IIT Bombay, right? Yes, yes. So, you know, if you have done your graduation, that too from IIT Bombay, so, you know, you are one of the, you know, uh, aspirant who have really performed well in the IIT J also, right? Yes. So I want to ask you this question. I want to take this conversation on a different note. You might have got some other job opportunity also. So why you decided to go for Bark? Uh, I also got actually a pre-placement offer from campus in Tata So uh, they were also offering uh, similar like pay scales and all. But what motivated me to go for Bark was Mainly, uh, it is like, you know, it is the number one research organization in India and it allows you to do, you know, M-Tech, PhD and even postdoc also while in service. And uh, one particular thing, like, I, uh, to be very specific, uh, there is one uh, department called uh, Rajaramana Center for Advanced Technology. Right. And now they are working on what you call this proton accelerator. So this proton accelerator, it requires uh, some, you know, advanced power uh, research there are many scientists who are already working in this power field in for proton accelerators in RRCIT. So, uh, you know, if you are if, uh, getting, uh, like I am, I actually did my final year project in power tonics only. So I thought, okay, if I'm getting a chance to work in, you know, that's kind of strategic uh, projects, it would be like very good for me. Okay. So that's great, Mark. That's great. But uh, we see nowadays, today's research career as an option, right? They immediately want to go for job. What mm -hmm. I can conclude from your discussion that you have a long-term vision for higher education or research domain, right? So mm -hmm. what basically is the, you know, key factor which motivated you to go for, uh, you know, higher education? You told me that you are joining BARC because you will be getting an opportunity to do MTech, PhD, and postdoc while in the services, right? So, mm. are you really interested, or are you internally driven that you want to become a research enthusiast for a long term? Uh, actually, like uh, before my uh, uh, before fourth year, I had no idea what to pursue, uh, nothing like that. Like uh, I, in my third year, I gave my internship in Tata Steel, so and I got prepaid an offer also. So during that time, I was thinking, okay, I will take up the offer. And then in future, I will decide what to do. Uh, but then suddenly, uh, uh, this uh, advertisement in, of bar came up. So I just uh, read the brochure completely. And so uh, based on the brochure reading, I thought, okay, it was uh, it, it offers a good research experience. Like they are all, already offering uh, to the experience to MTech also while in service. So that I thought, you know, was a very good uh, thing. And even ISRO and DRDO, I don't think they offer. Uh, this they of they promote this kind of research as right, much as what right. So, right, right, right. So the like in uh, in uh, Bharat, there is no uh, organization which or, uh, offers that much, you know, research and development uh, promotion is there. So uh, okay. 
after i did my final year project in powertronics so it was related to uh, design and small signal modeling of llc resonant converter it is a right. dc dc converter so i did my project in that and after doing project for one year okay i felt that powertronics is like is my area of study like i felt that uh, compared to other areas of uh, uh, whatever electrical like uh, i like the powertronics and machines more so okay, i so- uh, Madam, I got your point right because you have done your project in the power electronics and you have a special interest in the power electronics, right? Yes. So yes, that's sir. why you know you got to know that there are some special center who are specifically working on some particular area which is somewhere aligning with your interest and your past experiences, right? So uh-huh. that was basically bridging your future aspiration and your past experience. That is what I got right. Uh, coming to your interview right so where uh, your interview was held and what was the duration of your interview and what was your interview experiences have you prepared separately for interview or you were going with the knowledge which you gained in the btech only okay so my interview was in uh, anshakti nagar only uh, okay a, a, i think every interview is conducted in anshakti nagar campus only then my interview duration was around 1 hour like if i remember around 1 hour only Okay. Uh, then for interview preparation, okay. Uh, result I think came on April 27, 28 during that time, and uh, I started my interview preparation. I had some project work or something. Uh, the last stages uh, going on. So for one week I couldn't prepare for uh, this uh, what are interview. So around from May first week, right, May third or fourth, I started preparing for interview, and uh, till June 14 I prepared. So almost one and a half months I got for preparation of interview. So during that time, what I did was I revised whatever. Uh, my B Tech syllabus. The I select first of all I select the four subjects mainly machines, electronics, uh, then control systems and networks. I also prepare power systems as a backup. Like suppose if there are five subjects, I prepared as a backup. But my main four subject was uh, machines, electronics, uh, then what you call uh, control systems and networks. So power electronics, anyways, uh, I will be choosing as a first subject because this is my favorite. So I will prepare it from uh, project everything. So that I, that is. Okay, then, but uh, one problem for is that uh, this inverters, rectifiers, and uh, switch, uh, devices, uh, these topics have not worked on. I have worked on only DC DC converters. Okay. So, DC DC converters have unless in depth. Our professor in IIT was also very good. He thought DC DC converters is very, very depth uh, beyond gas levels, like at almost at PG level. So, uh, the, the remaining topics actually I followed uh, this YouTube access of Ankit Goelsa for power electronics. Then, for machines also, actually, machines. Uh, uh, it was taken to the COVID time, so some topics were unfortunately were not covered by IT professor. But whatever topics he covered, I referred to his notes again. And for the remaining topics like uh, synchronous machines, uh, DC machines, uh, I referred to Anki Golsar only, like he's uh, taught very well. And also referred to NPTEL access of uh, Tapas Kumar, uh, sorry, Tapas Kumar Bhattacharya. So his NPTEL access were also very good. Uh, then okay. For control preparation, what I did was uh, again my IT professor is very very good. So I uh, their videos are available on YouTube. And actually, I have written on four answer, and in uh, that I have shared a drive link in which I have uh, given all the resources I use use my preparation. So you can just go to my core account and type Madhur Abin Bibi. So you will get my answer regarding uh, how my detailed strategy for interview and the resources I use at drive link. So uh, for controls also, I mainly depend on. Uh, my IT professor lectures and some specific topics uh, like for example controllers and compensators then IT support etc so these specific topics I uh, again refer to until well started plans. then for networks okay networks uh, uh, I didn't prepare them as because network is kind of uh, you know every, every electrical general right 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 uh, right, right, right. Uh, so okay what so was the question is, basically they focus more then they ask you that uh, why after doing graduation from IIT Bombay why you're coming to park uh, okay, actually, they didn't even ask anything about uh, me, me, my name, or institute. Like, uh, they, I just start there. Then directly, they asked to, first question they asked is, what are the subjects? So I told my subjects. Then they directly asked starting me questions from the, the first se- second itself. So okay, I what was, the, some... what was the level of question as per you? They were the fundamental question. I mean. What kind of question they were asking? They were asking totally fundamental question. They were asking application based question, or they were they were asking you to derive some derivation or to draw some characteristics. What kind of questions specially they were focusing on? Uh, okay, in my case, uh, uh, I will uh, tell subject wise. 
in my case machines uh, for example I, i will tell one question they ask uh, one this question uh, the question is uh, like the mechanical torque in the induction motor we are considering uh, as the power dc uh, through a resistor so they said okay usually power through a resistor is considered as a dissipated heat or something but then how, why we are considering that as mechanical energy so this thing so this question is a you know proper concept concept of induction machine and basic question also but it is you know usually do, people don't think about this concept but right. so this concept is specifically given in until was our lecture and so uh, because of watching the lecture i was able to understand this concept very beautifully and explain it then one more question i will just tell for example uh, this is also basic question uh, they ask how will you determine the stator frequency of an isolated induction generator right. if you are given the uh, what you call the rotor rotor uh, speed so basically the concept is that the slip in the induction generator will be usually very small and negative like say minus 0.030 0.04 so this, this is also basic of it uh, they are asking but in power tone is actually they ask a lot of uh, the, what they ask me is they ask me to draw back and butter uh, they first of all they ask me which is, which is my favorite topic is power tone so anyway i told dc dc converter because i have you know studied a lot in dc dc converter i did right. project uh, yes. so they told me to draw back and butter and they uh, told me to Uh, told lo- ask me lot of questions for example uh, one question was that they they, uh, they have to derive the output voltage ripple in the buck up uh, buck converter that capacitor so this is not covered in gate syllabus actually but i have covered uh, then one more thing is okay they ask uh, what if you remove that diode in the buck converter and replace it by gto what is the problem then uh, what if you remove the mosfet and replace it by thyristor then they are asking how will the diode get reversed by like when the switch is off how will the diode get reversed by then they are asking what if you replace the capacitor uh, no what if you replace the resistor load in the buck converter with a capacitor then uh, they are asking uh, okay what is the problem of uh, replacing uh, no no they are asking why do we need dv, DV by dt protection uh, of the thyristor most of the question you mean to say they were pra- practical application based uh, or followed by the fundamental concept right ah it was mostly fundamentals but some derivations some concepts it was a mix of everything like i can say to pinpoint something but it was a mix of everything okay fine so basically you know have you attempted the gate exam no i actually see uh, i did i was not interested in psus or uh, ias anyways so i didn't even think of uh, attempting gate exam and all uh, but this work you know i came to know that they select through the gate exam later only Uh, and they had published advertisement on january 28th or something and gate exam was anyway on february 5th so there is no right. point right 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 great 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 so finally you know when your interview was done does panel make any remark on your performance or what nothing they, they tell you can leave like one person was looking through my certificate so he probably saw my that i am from it bombay but he didn't tell anything about it but probably i think see uh, uh, dita from it madras it uh, bombay it delhi uh, they are kind of you know they are different from other bits so they might have given some maybe 10 15 percent weightage for that also i am not saying they gave but it it might have uh, given some weightage to that apart from okay. my interview performance also. okay madhav so you have done your uh, graduation from top engineering college right so mm-hmm. now you are going to join park so what is your long term career objective first of all i uh, i had earlier mentioned about this rrcat so uh, as of now my aim is to work in rrcat only but uh, but then one of my uh, one of the opinions i got from uh, one of my relatives like who is also working in some senior power company he is a senior engineer in some uh, very good reputed power company abb power company so what he told is uh, you first try to join in bark mumbai itself because that is headquarters so if you join the headquarters you will get to you know more of the options more of the research activities going on in different places so if you just directly go into rrcat you will be focused on that only but if you join say your bark headquarters then you will have you know you will be able to explore more so that is my plan basically i will try to uh, secure good marks in the ocs uh, that first one year poster program and uh, try to get a uh, uh, posting in bark mumbai itself and so then i can explore more options where all research is happening what all areas if those areas interest me right 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 so madhav that's really great so i request you if you can mention the name of some professor 
whose mm -hmm. NP tell lecture you followed for interview. That will be better for the audience who will be listening this interaction. Only NP uh, for, lecture. Okay. For machines, uh, Professor Tapas Kumar Pachacharya's lectures. They are very good. Electrical electrical machines. Uh, uh, he is uh, very. Uh, he's covered very very good. Like you know. If you watch his lectures, you will definitely be able to answer almost all the conceptual questions in uh, Bart. But uh, actually, then one more problem exists uh, is that they might ask you design based questions. Like, uh, one, for example, one of my friends, he was asked to design a motor with a parabolic torque speed curve. So, this kind of question, you know, uh, how much of your study uh, for a UG student, it is uh, almost in impossible to answer such kind of questions. So, such kind of questions uh, you can leave. But you must, uh, what you must do is not, uh, you must not, uh, uh, you must not leave any conceptual answer, conceptual question or uh, derivation kind of question. So these type of questions, uh, test your concept very well, uh, the depth of your understanding. So these type of questions you should study well. So uh, Professor Tapas Kumar Bhattacharya's input lectures for electrical machines are very good. And for power tronics, uh, actually, uh, my professor, IT professor Sandi Banan, so he, his lectures are available on YouTube. He's, he has a YouTube channel. So he has uploaded the power tonics lectures in YouTube itself. So for DC DC converters, especially, his lectures are very, very good. And I also have uploaded his assignments, his assignments, uh, his tutorials, his exams from my IIT Bombay only. In my uh, that core answer I have given on Drively. So in that I have uh, provided every uh, assignment, every tutorial of power tonics uh, he gave. Uh, so you can refer to that also. So that's great. That's great. That's really a wonderful insight on the preparation, how one should prepare, right? So I believe, you know, you are all decided and you are all set that uh, what you need to do, your main target is to join first the headquarter of Bark, right? So I wish you will perform really well. And, uh, you know, we wish you all the best for your next coming journey in the Bark. And we wish that you achieve many more success than this. Thanks for Madhav, right? Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.